Hey, it's all sucking. Welcome back. Or, let's just welcome to the Live Live Reaction stream with their Stadia Connect. There. I think the quality is going better now. Other than that messed up, you know, previous VOD or whatever stream. Okay, let's see. We're going to react to Stadia Connect. No, I think they just uploaded the video and it said like 17 minutes ago. I guess it's just an upload video and not a live stream. They're not live streaming it on YouTube. They just upload the video of Stay to Connect. I think that's what Stay to Connect is doing. So it's a live react stream over Stay to Connect. So let's begin. Let's just check it out. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there it is. Yep, here it is. I just clicked on it. It's on the homepage, that same video. Huh? What the what the freaking comments are saying? All right, I'm gonna like move you over to. Here we are. See, go full screen. Here we are. Let's go. Oh, the screen the screen quality okay? Haunted? You still there? Haunted? Hello, haunted. I saw you earlier, right? You were there earlier. How's the screen quality looking? Okay. Good. All right. Is it looking okay? You there, haunted? Oh, Haunted. I don't know if Haunted is even there anymore, is he? Hey, Haunted. Yeah, I guess Haunted is still there or not, not even sure. Yeah, okay. I hope the quality of the stream is okay. Alright, let's begin. Here we go. Let's react. Zip. Stadia. Great. Right now. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, I need to turn that down. What the heck? Elder Scrolls Online. Red. You just freaking boost to your freaking platform. Right. Not really a platform, pigs. <laughs> Get more, it says. Play for everyone. Stay that down for one free one. Hope that wasn't copyrighted. That's why I turned my volume down. You only couldn't really hear it. Hi, I'm Megan. I lead Stadia's user experience research team. Hmm. Welcome to today's Stadia Connect. You just saw some of the incredible games you can start playing right now hmm. with Stadia Pro. Right. Today, we'll show you even more games coming to Stadia All right. and give you a close look at some new yes, games arriving you. later this year from Stadia Games and Entertainment. But let's start with those Stadia Pro games Stadia you just Pro. saw. Okay. You can play all of them today for free hmm. with your Stadia Pro yes, subscription for back. without having to buy expensive hardware. We're adding That's new games to Stadia Pro every Stadia. month. And players who have claimed mm. games with Pro since launch have scored more than two dozen free games. If you haven't signed up yet, you can try Stadia Pro for free. Yeah, I know. It looks fixed now. now. I noticed that. Start looks playing fine. all of these games instantly. Today. Ooh, instantly. We say instantly I'd rather have hardware. But thanks, Making though. Making your games quicker and easier to play <laughs> is behind everything These guys. Now, your games are getting even more instant. With Click to play. play. My gosh. Really? What? Let's go, baby. Mm. Here's how it works. You're a Stadia Pro huh. subscriber. You're watching your favorite That's YouTube Stadia creator play Stadia. Club Chief, and you feel what? like starting YouTube. your own game with some friends. Mm. Just click okay. the link they've shared in the description. Okay. And you're playing PUBG instantly on Stadia. <laughs> what? It's that easy. You play, That's weird. You play. No waiting. No game download or update. The game just starts uh, in seconds. I don't know. It works with any game you claim with pros oh. or buy on the store. That's weird. You can use click to play links on You're any like, uh, Stadia you supported you device. Chat. It really is that easy. You <laughs> click, you play. Now let's talk games. You already know I'm not that sure you're playing some about. awesome games on Stadia soon. Like Marvel's Avengers, Assassin's uh, Creed Valhalla, mm -hmm. and Cyberpunk 2077. Yes. Ooh. You can play Cyberpunk the yeah, second that launches on Stadia. Right? Huh. If you want to play your well, games on your TV, Stadia Premier Edition makes that possible. With the included I can play on the TV from the game console. And it's now just $99.99. I don't know. Same with how hard we're. I'm excited to share some of the new games from devs big and small. So many people are so used to having hardware. That's why a lot of people right now are just not too sure about this. And three remastered and Borderlands 3. Ooh. You'll be able to play incredible That's sports games nice. with your friends, like PGA mm. Tour 2K21, WWE Battlegrounds, mm. and NBA 2K21 this year. 
We built Stadia huh. to make playing you games with friends easier right, than ever. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Found a partner and a couple of controllers, or meet your friends online. Controllers, the only hardware they do go. Multiplayer in Super Bomberman are online. Super Bomberman. Woo. Since already existing games come to Stadia. Right. Battle 64. Okay. <laughs> I played games that are like a reference to Bomberman. Yeah, they're games that are like a huge reference to Bomberman, but they're not Bomberman games. Look, it looks fun, Bomberman. Like, I played so many games in Mario Party that was just like Bomberman. Not kidding. I remember correctly. Ooh. Well, then to think of that, when I rethink about that right there, that's a pretty neat idea. Yeah. Mm. Still odd though that it'll have a physical copy of the game, or digital version of the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the idea of joining your street streamer is pretty new on this game. Ooh, yep. I like that game. Seriously, this is one of the games I want to play a whole lot, but I can never get a chance to play this game. Wait, crossplay? Did it just say crossplay? It's, it's, it's Dead by Daylight finally doing crossplay. Because that's what I'd really be more interested in, big time. Tearing that head. Exclusive things on Stadia. Crowd choice. Looks like they're kind of doing something that Hyper Scoop is doing. Is that what it's called from Ubisoft with that Metal Royale game? I like the idea we could join the streamer when play the game along with them. Kind of like that idea. I like how they're becoming more and more games that are becoming more like. So the viewers can interact with the streamer through the game. They play along with the streamer in the game in some layer or super form. I like how they're doing that with some games now. It's neat. Ooh, what is this? Did I already miss what they said what it was? Holy crap. Auto hosts. Ah, the auto hosts are coming in. Juice. Alien, Whale, Lincoln Ends, Next to you, Lady Death, Argon Evil. Viewer. Thanks for all hosted. Jeez, this is like a battle mage on Stadia. Look at that. Uh, Dark Heart is an adventure. I'm not sure if this did happen live or if they just uploaded a video of it and not actually live streamed this. Like Stadia the themselves. Elder Scrolls Online came out last month on Stadia. Free mm -hmm. as part of Stadia Pro. It's only free to claim until July 16th. So huh. add it to your collection today, and you can keep playing as long as you keep your Stadia Pro subscription. Oh. After the 16th, the Elder Scrolls Online will still be available to buy in the Stadia store. If you've been questing across Tamriel for years, good news. The Elder Scrolls Online on Stadia supports cross-play and cross-progression. You can tell she's probably that. looking at a screen and reading off of a screen. Items and friends with you. That's Whatever just what it looks like to me. Ready to play right now? Just, you can play, 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 play. That's what it looks like. Sorry, it's just. I'm not trying to be rude or mean or anything, but. Yeah. Huh. Like, what are you putting on the facade? Are you reading everything off of a, a teleprompter or whatever? No, I'm just saying. Not saying what they actually are or not, but. What the heck was that? That was weird! <laughs> He's like, arr, arr, and he just smacks on the side. Seriously, I'll admit, seriously, it does look like a fun game. I've never played most of them, to be honest. Yeah, I have a bunch of my nice Steam library of seriously games. It's like, why haven't I played them yet? That's the thing, we buy so many games on Steam, they sit in your Steam library. And you can get me around to play that. Ooh, really? The Hello Neighbor. It's Hello Neighbor. 
Ugh, why? But I feel like I'd like to do that. Why would you take away downloading and installing? This just seems weird. Some of the people are not used to that. Ha, <laughs> fat. Yeah. It's cool that they're doing features like that with streamers. You can join in with your streamers. Streamer, with the streamer. As your, the viewers can join in with them. I like how they're doing features like that in some games. This next game is totally original, absolutely weird, and just as much fun. Sing your way through one hand clapping. What? Hey! I remember this game. Yes, I remember this. This is an indie game. I never did a video over it though, but I wanted to. Yeah. They stopped and they decided to like re like continue making it or something because all the support that they've been getting over it. It's like you basically sing in the game. That's what you're doing. Using your voice to guide the character through the game. <laughs> it's funny. Like I've seen other people do videos over this game, but I never got a chance to. Now they just added more to it. Hence I can see here. One hand clapping. What? How do I do one hand clapping? I'll clap with one hand. How do I do that? So, sing your song. Early access available now only on Studio. Is it only on Studio? I don't know if it only is, but the exclusives, I guess. What is that? What is this? Why does that look like people can fly? As the last remnants of humanity destroy themselves. <laughs> Ooh. The signal is still out there. And with it lies the key to our salvation. <laughs> Stay there. Ouch. We journey from the ruins of our old world and into <laughs> what lies beyond. Huh. What is this one? Is this that old game that didn't do well and they're trying to re-release it on Stadia? Even I do not believe them. It looks like what is it called again? Where I am taking these two, there's no coming back. There is a game that didn't do well. It looks like they're re-releasing on Stadia or something. That's what this looks like. It's like a four verse one. You play as a big monster. One player plays as a big monster and four other players just play as these like marines basically. Is that what this is? It's like one of the first of those games. That's what this looks like. It's the end of the goddamn world out there. All this persistence. This world is crashing down. It's like it's like they added a story to it. Unless it's the same thing. I forgot what's called. Beyond here, there's only death. Then again, this looks like it. I'm finding that signal. This looks like that game I'm talking about. What was that game? I forgot what it's called though. I don't know if this is that game I'm talking about. Outriders. This is Outriders. This Outriders Some game looks like so another game that, that didn't do fail, too well. Like it, it flopped. The game flopped. Game that looks like it. Legendary developers at From Software. Test your skills with the 2019 game of the year, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. Hmm. They're bringing that to the studio. Like bringing already released games to studio. Mm. Pretty much. Hope the quality of the stream is doing okay. Uh, ooh, yeah, that was brutal. Shadows died twice. Stadia edition. Yeah, they it's already been out and they're ringing the studio. Oh, what the heck? What am I doing? Ugh, didn't need to do that. They're bringing crossplay. Oh, oh, okay. Player on no battlegrounds. I'll be honest, I still haven't played that game before. Nope, I still have not played. What? Seriously? Oh, Hitman. Hitman 2. Okay. So what? 
thought that was something else, so that looked familiar. Oh, it does look familiar. It's Hitman. Hitman, Hitman 2 series. Hitman series. I don't know if there's like copyright one with the music, but no. Oh my god. That's pretty much what happened when you do a reaction stream. A reaction video, you know? I don't care about income or anything off of reaction videos. Reaction videos is just something I like to do for fun off the side. I don't expect them to Those are just some of the games we'll be playing no. on Stadia in 2020 and beyond. Now here's my teammate Khaled to tell you more. Hi, I'm Khaled from still Stadia Games well, and Entertainment. Our team creates and publishes games for Stadia in partnership with some of the most huh. talented studios around the world. Right. We're excited to announce just a few of the studios we are working with. Harmonix, the masters of music, well, delivering so rhythm and passion to everything yeah. they do. Upper well, <laughs> That's the expression I'm getting fun of. And boundless creativity. What are they doing? And super massive games. Are they like, the oh, I can't believe games, we're doing this. But they gotta tell that a facade and just read the teleprompter anyway. Later so it looks year, like, but we are they really? I'm just saying, I don't know if they're really doing that or not. But today, we're thrilled to give you a look at two of the games coming this Ooh. year from Stadia Games and Entertainment. Let's what start with a new creation from the shooter specialists. Splash damage. damage. Oh, splash damage. We're proud to introduce Outcasters. Outcaster was made by Splash Damage. Isn't Outcast lit? Isn't Splash Damage the same people who 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 flopped on the game called Brink? The game called Brink flopped. It didn't do well. I actually liked Brink. Sadly, it didn't do well. Brink, Brink is a game that was inspired by Two Fortress Two. Those type, those kind of games. I was like, what is this? Trick shots, it said. Ah, I knocked him over. Funny. What the heck? Ooh. Huh. That looked a little bit like Battle Riot. Battle Riot. It's a top down, like, fighter. Kind of game. Huh. Like a mobile or something. That's fun. What the heck? This is silly. This game. What the heck? Oh jeez. So this is made by Splash Damage, the same people who made Brink. I like the parkour of Brink. What? Don't do this! Oh my god. Oh, this game's called Outcasters. And there's another game called Outsiders. We'll be showing you I much see. more of Outcasters this fall. That's but interesting. Now, let's take a look at the return of a revolutionary tower defense Robot series from our friends at Robot Entertainment. Robot Get Entertainment. Get ready to play Orcs Must Die 3. Oh, Orcs Must Die 3. Yeah, the Orcs Must Die series. I've played a little bit of those games. I've played a little bit of Orcs Must Die. I was like, is there an Orcs Must Die 3? I guess this is Orcs Must Die 3 the game I was wondering about. Oh, they're actually coming out with Orcs Must Die 3. Uh, is it released on Stadia like first or something? I don't know if Stadia bought the rights to have the game appear on their platform first before it appears everywhere else. Kind of like what Epic Games did. Borderlands 3 released on Epic Games Store first before it comes on to Steam like six months later. I don't know if this is one of those situations here or not. Maybe. No idea. Uh, some companies do that. Ah, ooh, ah! <laughs> That's funny. Zoom gonna run through the traps and get smashed. Ooh, ooh, yep. Two player online call off. Yeah, you had two player call off in the previous one. Orcs must die too. I played some of Orcs must die. I didn't play much of the sequel though. The second one, Orcs must die too. I could go back and play that before I play this one. Or play the first one again, I guess. Cause I'm beating it. Play now for free. The same, bro. Or it's more die. Or it's more die. Three. Three. You can play Orcs must die three for free <laughs> right now. All you need I'll to play Stadia three Pro for free. Get it? That simple. Just click and play. Stadia Pro is just That's one odd. way to get games. All of Click the and games play. available on Stadia, including the ones you saw today, can also be purchased individually through the Stadia store. 
I think people who don't really care much about buying a new console or computer will probably go for this Stadia, you know what I mean? If you think about it. Thanks for watching. You just learned about a new way to get to your games with click to play You saw more games to play on Stadia. Well, right. And you got your very first glimpse of what's coming from Stadia Games and Entertainment. We're huh. just getting started. There's a lot more coming soon. See you on Stadia. <laughs> How about that? Stadia, oh, excuse me. Well, that's Game Theory. That was Game Theory. Yeah, Game Theory was that. Mega Man for Game Theory on that pad. All right, that was another video that was about Star on the screen. So, there you have it. That was Stadia Connect. Oddly enough, I wasn't sure if they did that live or not. The comments on Stadia Connect, the, the comments to this video, so, see in other countries. It's like, no. It's like, this one guy says, after watching the Volver Digital 2020 Direct, this is just so robotic and motionless. Love Stadia, but they need to hire new talent to do these announcements. This one guy said that in the comments. Mm, I, okay, what am I doing? I could have seen your read comments. So, anyways, yeah, that was, I don't know, I'm just saying, some of the comments, and com some of the comments, uh, you know when you read comments in the video and they sound pessimistic? You scroll down and look at the comments and how they sound so pessimistic and everything about something. That's what I was just seeing, but I don't need to sit there and read someone, what someone else says. But anyways, yeah, that was Studio Connect. I was reacting to it, and it's like, hey, it's a bunch of games that we know that I guess we've already seen come on other platforms, which are coming on a platform list platform called Stadia. As I feel like the consumer for for Stadia are probably going to be people who don't care enough to buy a, the hardware, like buy a, a new console or a new computer just to be able to play a game. That's basically the consumer that's probably going to go play games on Stadia when you think about it. Because people who would still like, oh, play Xbox or Sony PlayStation or Nintendo, people who are probably loyal to those con consoles are probably still going to buy a console to play these games. You know, when you think about it, or people who don't want to, I don't want to buy a console, or don't need, why would I need to buy a console? Like, people who aren't really into games, I guess, would probably play on Stadia. I guess that's uh, my theory or whatever about it. Of where those are probably the people who are going to be playing Stadia, but what do I know? That's just what I think about the kinds of people who would probably play it, but I don't know. That's just what I think, but whatever. So, yeah. That was Stadia Connect. Just, you know, saw a bunch of games that I remember seeing that have already either been already released or, I guess, new games that I've only seen on Stadia here, but I haven't really seen them mentioned on other platforms so yeah i said other platforms stadia is not really a platform is it it's like what is just if there's no hardware like what is it all you get is a controller and just it's cloud gaming that's what they're saying right cloud gaming as a like cloud gaming isn't steam steam done cloud gaming hasn't steam already invented cloud gaming i feel like cloud gaming has already been done by steam you know steam yeah. But then again, I guess cloud gaming on Steam is just different from how Stadia is doing what Stadia defines as cloud gaming. You know, on, we, I guess cloud gaming on Steam is like where the game you, you played on your computer, you pick up where you last played on that game on another computer. I guess that's the, no, that's called the Steam Cloud. Sorry, excuse me, never mind. That's called the Steam Cloud. I'm getting the Steam Cloud mixed up with what Microsoft is doing with their new console and what Stadia is doing with their whole cloud gaming thing. Yeah, and I feel like other companies have kind of done the whole cloud gaming is what they probably call this, right? Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm on the fence or mixed about it, but I mean, I personally, I'm the kind of person who would just like to actually have the i mean i like to collect video games i like to collect like you know video games and stuff like that i don't just play video games i like to collect them too so if i don't have a physical copy of the game or i guess that's if you don't want to 
biology against digital against digital content or something like that. Some people are like that, I guess. But I mean, I guess that's one reason why it's still on the hardware or something like that. But uh, I don't know. It's just you know, everyone has, everyone feels differently about how they would what what they would think of Stadia or Gata Gata or some things like that. You know, so yeah, right. I don't know. You never know. Maybe I will play a game someday on Stadia, or maybe I'll play the same game on an actual, like, computer, or, like, on Steam, or, or Nintendo Switch, or who knows? You never know. I might play a game on Stadia at some point. Some random game that I just start playing. I mean, I don't, I'm not the kind of person who has a preferred console or anything i don't have a preferred platform i play on i mean i don't really care about playing the games not so much what platform i'm playing it on so there could be a chance where i might play a game on studio even if it's on studio or i may still play some games on a different platform like xbox or or nintendo or playstation or whatever you know because i don't i'm not concerned about the platform i'm not concerned about just being able to get my hands on the game. And that's probably the kind of consumers that Stadia, Google is after. They're after those kinds of people who don't care about having, a, they're not so concerned about the platform of being able to get their hands on the game and just play it. Those are probably the kind of people that are going to be playing on Stadia. Possibly, but I guess in the long run, this is, I don't know, how's this good or not, but, ugh. Yeah, most of the people out there are so used to having a console or play on the computer and play games. A lot of people are not used to this, but, you know, things change. You know, never know how things will be in the future with this. You don't know, if, I'm not sure whether or not the Stadia thing will flop or not sometime in the future, or if it won't flop. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how successful this thing goes. You know, it came out last year, so... Yeah, I guess those are my thoughts on the whole stadium and after just seeing the whole stadium connected. So, all right. Yeah. So, all right. That's it for this live reaction stream. Apparently, wow. Of course, I didn't go into an hour of this live reaction stream. I didn't go into an hour. Again, my live reaction streams aren't exactly like, oh, five hour live streams or something like that. They're just different from my other live streams, you know? So, yeah, that's it for this, you know, live stream. I would, I almost said video, but I'm not recording a video. Well, I guess I'm yeah, live recording. Well, that's why I would say if I was on Twitch, but I mean, excuse me, if I was on YouTube, but anyway, yeah, that's it for this live stream, guys. I don't think I'll end this off like I always normally do. It's, I think there's not more, it's much more, unless I just sit here and talk about all this. A lot more than I already have. For what, like an hour? It's fine, it's only been like 30 minutes because that video was only 18 minutes. They released as a video instead of a live stream, which I found odd. Anyway, yeah. I'll just leave this down here if you guys are interested, you know, to know what I, if you want to keep up with what I may do, you know, you know, click on my, follow me on my social media. If you want to keep up with what I may do next or where, where, what I may be doing, or where I'm at, like, when I may go live again, or when I upload my next YouTube video, because if I'm not live streaming, chances are I'm, all, I'm over on YouTube uploading my videos. That's where I kind of am if, I, if there's no video, up, if I'm not live streaming, there's totally a video uploaded. Or, you know, if you want to just keep up with whatever I'm doing next, you can follow me on my social media. I can just saw the screen or in the chat, of course, so. It's all up to you guys if you want to do that or not. You want to see more from me. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And with that, so, yes. All right. So, yeah. And with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, see ya. Like, what? Oh. Oh yeah, have a nice day, you too, Medusa. Thanks for watching. Um, live reaction stream. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know if I might do a live stream later on today, but we'll see. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. A live reaction stream over Studio Connect. See you next time. Bye-bye.
Oh, it's part of Summer Games Fest. That's what's part of. You have a nice day too, Medusa. Hope that's interesting, right? Thanks for stopping sticking around, everybody. I feel like this is one of my shortest live streams, actually. Hmm. So I didn't go for an hour. I'm like, what kind of live stream is this? We're gonna go for an hour. It was just a live reaction stream. Right now, I'm, I'll go and talk. See you later. Hmm. Bye bye. Honestly, I could go on and on and on. Talk, talk, talk. Okay, we're good. Bye bye. <laughs> See ya. See you there, everybody. It's like, what? Are you still here? The chicken's over. Yeah, something like that. But you're still here waiting and like, st like start going on talking. Seems like I'm actually doing that. It is funny. That's funny if I were to do that, actually. It's like, hey, the chicken's over. Go home. You know? That's funny. Yeah. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.